get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers, you have to be like the 1%. So how do you even do that? What is it that you need to learn and become? Now, I've been working in the cloud for the past seven years, and I have my own cloud engineering consulting business, building projects for clients of all sizes from all over the world. You could say that I am part of the 1% of cloud engineers, and you can join me too if you follow these upcoming 10 cloud engineering secrets that I'm going to share with you. And spoiler alert, number eight is the one that allow me to make six figures. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more to help you make your cloud move. The first secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to take ownership. Taking ownership is a fundamental secret to excelling as a cloud engineer and standing out like the 1%. It's more than just doing your assigned task. It's adopting a mindset of leadership and initiative in every aspect of your work. Now, taking ownership as a cloud engineer is also about being proactive. Rather than waiting for instructions, the most successful cloud engineers are those who seek out opportunities to improve and innovate within the projects. They look at the environment and constantly ask, how can this be better? This proactive approach not only leads to more efficient and effective outcomes, but also showcases your ability to lead and think independently. Taking responsibility is another crucial aspect of ownership. This means that you're owning up to both your successes and failures as a cloud engineer. When things go well, you acknowledge your effort and you learn from what worked. When things don't go well, it's even more important to stand up and take responsibility and understand what went wrong. This learning attitude towards mistakes and failures is what differentiates a truly exceptional cloud engineer from the rest. Someone like myself, I'm always trying to learn, I'm always trying to grow, and I'm always trying to get better. But as I do this, I do make mistakes. I do mess up. I do the wrong things. But I take responsibility and ownership to improve and learn from my past and learn from my mistakes, which makes sure that next time I come across the same scenario, I've already learned what happened in the past so then I can apply it and then succeed again. It shows maturity, integrity, and a commitment to continuous improvement. Taking responsibility is another aspect of ownership, especially in the workplace, where you review what went well and what didn't well in your team sprint reviews. Now, building a problem-solving mindset is also key to taking ownership. In a dynamic and often an unpredictable world of cloud engineering, challenges, bugs, and issues in your projects are inevitable. When you're facing with these hurdles, you don't want to be someone who waits for someone else to fix the issues. Instead, you step up and you start looking for solutions. Remember, your senior managers always want solutions, not problems. This not only helps in resolving the issue at hand, but also strengthens your analytical and critical thinking skills. It's about seeing the problems as opportunities to grow and excel. Now, the next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to have a student mindset. Now, having a student mindset, no matter how experienced experience or successful you think you are is important to stay ahead. This mindset adapts a culture of ongoing learning, adaptability, and innovation, which are key in an ever-evolving landscape of cloud computing. Firstly, the technology and the cloud is always in a space of new platforms, tools, and best practices emerging. By maintaining a student mindset, you ensure that you're not just keeping a pace with these changes, but you're also adding them to enhance your capabilities and solutions. This ongoing learning process allows you to stay technically proficient and relevant, making you an invaluable asset to any team organization that you work with. Now, also having a willingness to learn is more than just keeping up with technical skills. It also means being open to new ideas, perspectives and new ways of working. This student mindset and attitude is crucial for collaborative environments at work. The tech industry and employers value problem solving and creative thinking, both which are nurtured by having a student mindset. When you're constantly learning, you're regularly challenging your existing knowledge and assumptions, which can lead to more new approaches to problem solving. This ability to think outside the box is often what sets apart exceptional cloud engineers from the rest. A student mindset also involves learning from failures and mistakes. 
In a field as complex as cloud engineering, setbacks and failures will happen and are failed many times. Viewing these experiences as learning opportunities rather than defeats is crucial for personal and your professional development. It builds resilience and the ability to navigate challenges effectively, qualities that are even more highly valued in any cloud engineer. Now, if you want to get started with the cloud and become a cloud engineer, then you should check out my cloud engineer handbook, where I provide you with a structured way of learning and guiding you to go from zero to cloud engineer hero, covering the fundamentals, the tools, the technologies to learn and become a cloud engineer through text, diagrams and short videos. Right now, it's at a 50% discount for pre-order. I'll link it in my description below. The next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to build your soft skills. Now, being able to explain complex cloud concepts in simple terms is like being a translator. It bridges the gap between tech speak and everyday language, making it easier for everyone to understand what's going on. This is super important for working with teams that aren't as tech savvy as you as a cloud engineer. Now, cloud engineering often involves working with different people with different skills and different experience. Being good at teamwork is like being a great band member. This means that you have to be able to work smoothly with others to get things done efficiently. Now, soft skills help you see beyond the code and understand how your work fits into the larger goals of the company. It's like being a pilot. You're not just flying the plane, you're also navigating towards a destination. Good soft skills helps you build strong relationships with colleagues, clients and other professionals and this network can be super valuable for your career. I still have great connections with people that I started my career with eight, nine years ago. It's like having a group of friends who can give you advice, share opportunities and support each other. Now, great cloud engineers are able to express and communicate their thoughts with ease. And like I said, being in a technical role doesn't mean that everyone understands the technical concepts that you do. You always will work with non-tech people on your projects. So being able to demonstrate your soft skills means you can work better with those people and also deliver better project outcomes. Now, the next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to learn to code. Coding is learning the language of technology. Once you know it, you can talk to computers and tell them exactly what to do. This skill is super important in cloud engineering because it's all about making computers do complex tasks. Coding teaches you to think logically and solve problems step by step. It's like playing a game where you have to figure out how to get through each level. This skill is really useful in cloud engineering because you often have to find creative ways to fix complex issues. By coding, you get to understand how different parts of cloud technology work together. It's almost like being able to take apart and rebuild a car engine. You know exactly how everything fits and works together. And technology is always changing and changing fast. By coding, you can learn new things quickly and stay up to date because companies love cloud engineers who can code. This means that you'll be able to have better job opportunities and better chance of working on cooler projects. For me, learning to code has allowed me to become a 10X cloud engineer and learning infrastructure as code tools like Terraform or CloudFormation has been way easier because I've been able to understand how to read and write code. Working in teams means you also have to review other people's code and by already having a foundation in programming, your life will just be way easier as a cloud engineer. And I always suggest beginners to learn Python or TypeScript first. Now you can get away as a cloud engineer not knowing how to code in those languages, but then you've accepted to be part of the 99% of cloud engineers. Now the next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to build deep technical expertise. In cloud engineering, this means you really need to understand the majority of cloud services, the technologies, and their use cases. Now, you're not just using them, you know how they work, why they work, and when to use them. Now, when you have a lot of knowledge, you can then also solve bigger and tougher problems. It's like being a detective who can solve the most complicated cases. You can tackle issues that others might find too hard or complex. Now with deep technical skills, you become the person that everyone goes to with their tough technical questions. People trust your expertise and look to you for answers. The more you know, the more that you can create. You can come up with new ways to use cloud technology
technologies or invent new solutions. You can weigh the pros and cons of different technologies and choose the best ones to use depending on the project requirements. And now to really stand out and be in the top 1% of cloud engineers, you want to be a specialist, a subject matter expert with deep technical expertise in what you do. Now, in order to do this, you have to do the following. Firstly, you need to obtain professional level certification. For example, the AWS DevOps Professional Certification or the AWS Solution Architect Professional. Next, you have to build hands-on projects and engage in real-world projects that challenge you and expand your skill set. This can be in a variety of cloud projects from cloud migration to cost optimization to re-architecting solutions or even modernizing cloud platforms. For you to gain this experience, you do have to be patient because it takes time. And finally, you need to specialize. Cloud computing is huge and you want to specialize in an area of cloud such as security, AI, big data, or DevOps. De-specialization will also help you stand out and also make a lot more money. The next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to work on diverse projects. Working on diverse projects as a cloud engineer is like having a key that unlocks a lot of doors in your career. Each project is like a new classroom. You get to play with different tools, face different problems, and see different ways of building things. Now, this variety teaches you a lot and makes you really good at understanding all sorts of different cloud projects, concepts, and how to build things. I've personally worked on projects across so many different industries, such as telecoms, fintech, defense, energy, and healthcare. When you switch between projects, you're also stepping into new situations. This helps you get really good Good at adapting. This is super useful because technology is always changing. Each new project is a fresh new set of puzzles. Some might be easy, others might be tough, but as you work through them, you become a pro at solving problems. It's like those brain games that get easier the more you play. Different projects mean working with different people. This is great because it teaches you how to communicate well and understand different viewpoints and work smoothly in a team. Now, when you work on projects in different areas, you see different kinds of business needs. When companies see that you've worked on different projects, they'll think that you're really versatile and you add a unique set of experience to their company. The next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is understanding business and cloud economics. Most businesses migrate to the cloud because of business benefits and objectives. It can be cost, it can be speed of developing features, it can be to do with business growth. Therefore, as a cloud engineer, you need to align your cloud strategies and solutions with the business overall objectives. This includes understanding how cloud solutions can drive growth, reduce costs, or enhance operational efficiency. With this, you need to be able to articulate the business value of cloud solutions to non-technical stakeholders. Understanding cloud economics enables cloud engineers to design and implement cost-effective cloud architectures. This involves choosing the right services, sizing resources correctly, and utilizing utilizing pricing models like reserved instances or spot pricing. Now, the next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to stay updated with industry trends. The cloud computing field is rapidly evolving. Staying informed about the latest technologies ensures that you're able to leverage new tools and services as they become available. Therefore, it's crucial to remain relevant in an industry that's continuously introducing new platforms, features, and best practices. Keeping up with industry trends helps you maintain a competitive edge in the job market. Employers often look for cloud engineers who are knowledgeable about the latest technologies and methodologies. Awareness of latest trends allows you to bring solutions to your organization that are very, very modern potentially improving their efficiency and their performance. As the cloud industry evolves, so do best practices. Staying up to date ensures that you're always applying the most current and effective strategies in your work as a cloud engineer. The next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. This quality is about embracing challenges, uncertainties, and new situations, recognizing that growth and learning happens outside of your comfort zone. In a fast evolving domain of cloud engineering, technologies, tools, and best practices are constantly changing. Being okay with discomfort means you're being eager to dive into new and unfamiliar tools and technologies. This willingness to explore uncharted territory not only keeps your skills sharp and up to date, but also positions you as an adaptable and forward-thinking cloud engineer. This trait also involves tackling complex problems without clear-cut solutions. In a cloud environment, you might often face issues that don't have a straightforward fix. 
being comfortable allows you to approach challenges with a problem-solving mindset, using creativity and critical thinking to explore various solutions. The next secret to get ahead of 99% of cloud engineers is to be easy to work with. Being easy to work with is a critical attribute that can elevate your career drastically, setting you apart from the majority. This quality goes beyond the basic teamwork and communication. It embeds a range of behaviors and attitudes that can make you not just a capable cloud engineer, but someone that's very much liked in your group and in your project team. Firstly, being approachable and personable is fundamental. This means that you're someone that others feel comfortable talking to, whether it's about a challenging technical problem, a project update, or even a casual conversation. It involves being open, friendly, and supportive, and creating an environment where where other people can communicate openly. Now, you will be surprised how far you can go and how successful you can become as a cloud engineer if you're just easy to work with. Those were the secret ways to get ahead of the 99% of cloud engineers. I would love to know which one was your favorite. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.